course. This movie was fucking rad. It was it was, it was my new favorite. Watching movie. it was an amazing ordeal. But anyway, th- this film you're was, the contrarian, Jim. There there's a there's a there's a surface message of this film and it's really obvious. This is like the whole film is a metaphor for capitalism, right? And in sure. fact, in it's Russia, not a metaphor, it's a direct. No, it's a direct. Is... It's a direct thing. In in fact, in Russia back in the day, they used to show this to show you how bad capitalism is, right? Of I can't course. imagine why. Yeah, I know, yeah. but that's not what this film is about. <gasps> this film is about, and this is my interpretation. Everyone has their own interpretation. This is a film about the the quality of Perfect. dignity, and dignity is the right of a person to be um, valued and respected for their own sake and to be treated ethically. And so every character in this film comes in with their a level of dignity at certain levels. Like Jane Fonda's character, you know, Gloria is like, she's depressed, so she doesn't care too much about it. But like Alice is, she's a London actress. So she has a high level of dignity, right? That And so she, the thing is- For that, a little bit. Yeah. For then, a little bit, then, yeah. Then, yeah. Then, the whole the whole point of the film is is how the, the this is all about how this 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 uh dance marathon violates the dignity of everybody in it in various mm-hmm. different ways um and mm-hmm. it's it's it's, it's it, and the thing is you boil it down it's like the final essential quality of the marathon is an experiment in humiliation mm-hmm. it's like you're seeing how you can mess with people who are at various places in their life like how much can you debase someone for money yeah and the yes, thing is yeah. like someone with a lot of pride and a lot of like like gloria like i said that the british one they beat they just stole her clothes and messed with her until she just cracked like a pretzel you know it's just mm-hmm. not good right meanwhile you have people are just trying to survive like that that farmer couple a uh, ruby and james who are like mm-hmm. the bonnie Bedelia and, and bruce stern they had they had no dignity they were she there just so to young. make money there was nothing for them to lose so they just danced and danced and danced she she sang at one point and they're still there they're, still, they're still there at the end of the film it's like they're tor- yeah this That's the thing. In, it just keeps going. In, in respect that people have i think a natural dignity that they has to be respected watching them being torn apart like this was just harrowing it was terrifying it's like it, it, you narrow it down to this particular definition. It was just like it was it was it was horrific in a lot of ways, and it's not just like mm, weird. It, yeah, well, that's the thing. It's just the thing is that me, the metaphorical, like the obvious thing, isn't there. But I think there's it's tying into a certain idea, and the idea is just like the the writer whoever did this, who used to be a bouncer at these things, uh, <laughs> knows how this works. Tell me, the writer of the book or the screenplay? Yeah, writer the writer of the book. The, the writer no, of the novel. Yeah, he used to be a bouncer at these advanced marathons and got the idea for doing the whole thing. So that's my two. Actually, that's my quarter. So well, that's it. I mean, that was I good, Scott. Tell, wait, hold I on, though. It. I can't. Did you? But but other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, did you like the play? <laughs> I love this film a lot. I thought it was beautifully done. It, the the photography was amazing. The acting was yeah, was yeah, about. I think it was it was it was just top notch. You know, I, I, I liked everything about it. He, I think, as I told you guys, like I had to Google, like, wait a minute, they got they they had to have exaggerated this, right? No, no, no. oh no. no, no! Not only did they not exaggerate it, they cut things out of yeah. the novel. Imagine I mean, yes. according you to how much you give Wikipedia this? credit, uh, they underplayed it. Can you yeah, imagine yeah, doing underplayed. this for two months? Yeah. This is this is a mild version of what really went there, on. Back then. I mean, we all read the Wikipedia page. People had like sex in beds in mm-hmm. like on the floor. No, on they the floor. slept on the floor. And a blanket on the top they, of themselves like, having sex. Yes. It, I wouldn't have paid, believed it. And who I paid to see this go on for weeks and weeks. Everyone. Everyone anybody with, anybody with a quarter. Jeff Bezos. People in the audience? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone. Like yeah, it's the, 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 there was nothing to do. Watch. Well, I mean, it, train, it takes bro. place in Santa Monica, right? right. So all of here, Hollywood yeah. could go. There. Oh, this bit right. where they people throw pennies out and they each round. Oh, yeah. oh my god, oh, that this was awful, is dark as shit. I know <laughs> this movie was made in 1969. I know mm-hmm. it was dark as hell. Like, I was this in 73, 74. No, man, this was 69. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. And. Yeah. I mean, Pollock, I got to give him credit, man. Like, this is, I, I've seen, I think, most of his movies. And this, here. this is definitely one of the, A, one of the better ones, and probably the darkest, like, pitch black. Oh, He's just twisting the screws for the yeah, entire you know, movie. Shit. William just, Friedkin was up to the direct, but he was, wanted oh, yeah, he too was, much money. Right. That, I think, would have been better, to be honest. 
it would have probably been a little more good. It's like, they're not going to shoot her. Uh-huh. Of course they're going to yeah. shoot her. <laughs> yeah. I like, how's this going to end? Not as, not, he's not just going to pull the, oh. Oh, so he's that, absolutely. Oh, that, you know, ends. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I shot her. It keeps going. The end. Apparently yeah. in the novel, she's the Gloria, uh, Jane Fonda's character is recovering from a suicide attempt. And then she mm-hmm. dies this because she had nothing to lose. Uh, basically, had nothing to lose. I wish they would have included that. Me too, because it well, after she made her a little more. Gig, I would have yeah, liked yeah, her yeah. more. Blow uh-huh. job. Yeah. I, I I I I will say I think she might be the weakest link because everybody else in it I thought was really strong, and she's. No, I, a I disagree thing. with you. I just don't like how Jane Fonda is always. She doesn't know how to play anything but one emotion, and that's pissed off and annoyed. Well, I, don't every know. I think she's movie. great at it. She's very, well, she's, very she's, good. She's good at it, but she's she's the same. She's the same character in every but movie. She's just she can't be fucking bothered. Was Clute. No, yeah. Susanna York and this guy. This guy steals Gig everything. Young. He's in. Gig Young. Who He's won the one that, he won the Academy it. Award. Yeah. Yeah. And Susanna York fucking crushes it in this movie. Oh my god, she does. And I thought that um, I mean Saracen, who I mean he, I've seen him in a few things. I really like him in a couple. Of, I mean, I, I I don't remember this movie, but. He's kind of got that haunted boyish thing going on that I thought worked really, really well. Yeah, the thing he, he says good. right before she pulls the gun out where he's like, I used to like going to the ocean and now I don't care if I ever see it again. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh huh. he's just as suicidal as she is. Yeah. Like, oh, that whole scene no. was was pretty good. Also, that, that this goes into the, the dignity thing I was talking about earlier. Sarazen's character, uh, Robert, is outside of the whole thing. He's just this he's dragged in, this wild bum who just kind of lives on the beach and doesn't have any dignity because he doesn't need to have it. And so, him being as part of this thing is like, okay, I'll do it. What the hell? I've got well, thing better going on. Let me on ask right you guys here. the scenes of him in the courtroom is that fantasy or is that epilogue? It's flash forward. It's flash, flash forward, forward, right? Yeah. yeah, we're meant to think it's flashback, and then you realize which... there's a flash forward. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, a little bit seems before, like a flashback. A little bit before the gun goes off, you realize, oh, red, oh. red buttons, red buttons. Wow. Oh, yeah. second oh. yelling about movies. Red. We buttons. just saw him in Poseidon oh, Adventure a couple of years later. He's great in this. He was, that, yeah, he's good in both, but he's amazing. Red right? Buttons is hard to watch in this whole movie. Because you know what's going to happen, right? Oh, oh God, know. yeah, he's just... He it's... does a great heart attack, I'll tell you yeah. that. But, but, but but make, th- th- those scenes where, like, as if it isn't bad enough for these poor schmucks, every couple of weeks, we're going to make them race. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> wow. And get rid of the last three. Yeah, well, yeah, we got to... Off. We're getting rid of the last three, plus anyone who dies. Yeah, like it's yeah. not. It's the last three, no matter what. Yeah. If, if if half of them die doing it, it's and, still and the again, last three. It's also still the, the, the last of the survivors. Right. The, the progression of how they did the makeup and and clothing on these guys it as really it goes so on bad. was amazing. Was good. At the end, yeah. there's like no no lipstick, hollow eyes. There's a Bonnie Bedelia there, behind me there. Yeah. Like I got her eyes. It's like well, the like the the British up. chick looks dead. I mean, she's the like they're, yeah, they're all like, just like right when she they're takes her dead. shower. She's yeah. Yeah. pretty much yeah. Dead. This this scene. Yeah, yeah. She, she looks like so pale. Like, I know she's gone. All gone. I know it's like all used up. No more. It's like it's amazing. But um, they start out looking pretty decent. But that's at the end. It's like yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing just, left. I, and of I course, Rolo gets a part in a Western, so he's just out of there. But I, I, know I, saw, I, really did, yes. I know I saw this as a kid on Z Channel back in the 70s. And it's like, all I remember is like, they dance until someone dies. And that's yeah. like really all I remembered. But like watching it now with a lot of perspective, again, as a commentary on what people are willing to debase themselves for just a little bit of money, like... What an indictment. And for this to come a like a little bit of money, they're not actually going to get either. They're not oh, right. Right. Like Sorry. that whole bit. Like by the time she sees like, wait a minute, you guys are going to bill us and then we get what's left over. What's the point? Shoot me now. Yeah. yeah right. Shoot me now. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly, that's a good desolation of the end of the film. Let's <laughs> shoot me now, man. You're not getting anything out of this. But that's an alternative it. ending would be some other people would have come in and shoot all of, shot all of them instead of yeah. themselves. <laughs> well, <and laughs> and so now I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Pollock follows this up. Did he? He did the way we were, right? Yes, he did. Like what? Two years afterward? Uh, that was seventy three. Yeah, a couple of years later. No, uh, what the hell? I don't okay, know. I like. All right, I've got that off my plate. Uh, Jeremiah Jeremiah Johnson, checks like everybody else Jeremiah does. Johnson Come on. is the next thing he makes. Oh no, but I like that's a good movie. That's a good movie too. Yeah, Jeremiah like, Johnson is great, and that yeah, it was like a year later. Yeah, you know when when these people would crank out movies like every flipping year. Uh-huh. Um, well, like I said, this. I got, this 
I yeah, have very yeah. little notes on like th this is wow that's dark yeah. wow that's the, the, the paranoia in this film the whole like feeling of claustrophobia about closing in being well, in this one location this structurally right. like 90 percent of it is the stories that are happening on the dance floor he knows exactly when i'm going to leave the room for a second and then come oh. back and then leave right the room again and come back and it it's like i, a I think he that. could have actually spent more time off the dance floor because the most interesting stuff was happening is the care who the characters are and I, uh -huh. I thought there wasn't a lot spent there i mean there was enough to get us all invested but i thought that could have been deeper and i actually thought a lot of the middle of this movie lagged i, I thought this movie was kind of boring a lot of the time well, that's that's okay that's when looking at it. okay yeah i'm with jared i thought it also, was one thing about it this felt like a a slight idea is stretched out to feature like the thing, the thing yeah. about the one of the things Matisse in the, the film slight idea that, though is that klaxon that like a short story yeah that a lot that sound that siren that goes off and they have to go back on the floor again i mean chris my heart sank when i realized about 15 minutes in it's like oh this dance marathon this is the movie this is going to be the whole movie but really? but but again this it's rollerball this was a this was a thing that happened for years. Right. Yeah, it was a yeah. real thing. We, we, almost Seattle, a decade. Seattle banned it in 1928. Seattle passed a law and uh, banned yeah. it in 1928. They're like, this is too fucked up. You uh, can't let people I, keep I actually, doing this. I mean, and it went on until the 40s. Right. Well, it was so it was so popular that obviously they take the idea of it now and use it, you know, as something fun. You know, you just do it for like on a, at a party for five hours for a prize, just Nobody who's in danger. Nobody, nobody you know. dies. Well, it's right. Like a, it's, it's, it's it's like, like a, a this is like that show Wipeout. You know, where you, you get hit by those big foam things. Oh, you fall into the water. You know. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is absolutely the 1920s version of reality television. Yeah, like, yeah. This yeah. is reality yeah. television. It's it's all there are no it's new like, there are no yeah. new ideas. No. Right. Like you you write you wind this reel back 1900 years and you have gladiator combat yeah. which literally yeah. had sponsorship the way that this did like yeah. it's i mean they still is, do they still do bullfighting you know they still do football yeah exactly <laughs> i mean this but, is a uniquely american fucked up way to torture people or that, people as or a your enjoyment as well, a business well mind I, you you know I, I don't i would argue that the the thing that happened was worthy of a movie, a feature length movie with a list talent. Well, it came to be in the, you know, one of the darkest times in American. Yeah. Where was it? Like, well, well, everyone, everyone in America yes. thinks that the depression started in 1929 when the stock market crashed. And what they don't realize is that it actually started way earlier than that. And that was just the rest of the society catching up with, the there are people a bad way through most mostly uh veterans mm -hmm. had a bad way through most of the 20s yeah veterans uh, then you have crop failures that start mm -hmm. happening in the south like yeah, it's yeah. just the bonus this, it's army this, yeah right the bonus army it's just this progression of things that eventually in 1929 collides with the wall street crash and that's when people go oh things are fucked up and it's like no 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 they've been fucked up for a real long time yeah. right like, there's also just there's, didn't notice there's a there's a, a analogy about how sophisticated entertainment is and how it's changed a bit from now to then nowadays it's like i mean this analogy this is gonna sound a little weird but you know clowns right back in the 20s and 30s they were sort to be really funny and you went to a circus saw clowns and laughed right now they're terrifying because you know we've kind of gotten past the idea that there's real simple-minded you know kind of like guy dressing up in weird outfits and and acting like an idiot is it's funny because it's not anymore this is like an unsophisticated way of 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 entertaining yourself watching people be getting humiliated it was like it was stripped down to its basics like you pay a quarter to watch some these, these guys suffer and you can stay as long as you you want. can stay as long as you, you want pay your quarter and you can stay as long as you want i'm gonna uh, one, one thing couple. also make the money on concessions <laughs> One thing I also want to point out is that behind you, uh, Scott, there are African American performers. There are, yeah, doing the music. Right. You yep. know what? There were not what? African American dancers. Mm -hmm. This was yes. a thing that we inflicted only on white people. That's right. It's like or the, was... the sympathy factor. That's the right. thing, right? Because they wouldn't have been sympathetic to a black couple out there or an Asian couple or a Native American couple. Like it's, we only did this to white people because that got butts in seats. Right. right. Like, mm -hmm. well, it was a hell of a film. <laughs> I, I, 
I I hear the maybe the middle sag, but for me, once I realize like, oh no, we're really gonna like, we're really gonna get in on the, like and really wallow in how awful we can be to each other. That actually, and I I, I realize I'm fucked up, but that actually got me more into it. Yeah. Hi, Chris. No, I, Chris. I, I, yeah, you know, I see hate, you. I hate people more than probably anybody else here, and so I like. No, not, man. Not true. Not true. I'm, I'm the one who are. picked this. <laughs> All right. This oh, are. that's that's like a dick measuring contest with this. We are, Actually, Tad, we you are, hates are, humanity are, the we most. Are, we are this horrible. We've I been do. this horrible for a really long time. I think Jim I've might be the winner. longer than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's been here. He's been here more. That's yeah. Great. No, I, I, I and I, wait, hold on. That, that's the scene. Jim's that's seen the, more than all of us. Yeah. The, the fabric of humanity the and how I've seen. I, uh, this, this is, is that the clip. This is, this is the clip. Yes. <laughs> he's doing. He's doing the. He's doing the Tannhauser gate. The yeah, Tannhauser pretty much. Thing, yes. <laughs> this is a movie I should have seen. Sea beams movie. glittering <laughs> off the uh, shoulder. Sea beams of glittering off the disco ball. Exactly. <laughs> I thought, uh, this is a really good you know, Tad, you surprised the hell out of me because this. You know, I know how old you are, and this film is like a generation before you. So you picking this was a real just left. The, just no, but it feels. Just, no, so no, why, you know why, it would be the why did you pick it? I'm just curious what led you to how you connect to this <laughs> film. Apocalypse movies. They're what? apocalypse movies. But how did you connect to this film? Sorry. Oh, because I watched this once on like PBS or something as a kid. And I was like, this is one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay, yeah. I was just like, but we didn't have Wikipedia back then. I had to go to the fucking Encyclopedia Britannica. But yeah, this was like, like nominated for like it's hella Oscars. It's yeah. the Johnny Got His Gun of Dance Marathon. Oh my god, I almost was saying, almost the same year. Double all, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and I I was just like, oh wow, we have always been broken. <laughs> like yeah, yeah I've, oh yes. That well, this... you guys, I, I I guess this is another one of those examples where you guys talking a movie up make me like it better because I only wrote a few notes down when I saw this. Go ahead, movie. John. I, I prolonged misery, uh, and that's the mm -hmm. subject of the film and also the experience of watching the film. Mm -hmm. And so points for <laughs> points for thematic integration, I guess. Um, I thought I wrote down flashbacks to childhood trauma are the worst kind of 60s pop psychology. Endings trying very hard to be heavy. Feels like a short story stretched to feature length. 15 minutes in, I already said that. Uh, I realized the whole thing was going to be a dance marathon. I don't know what this pick could be about except delayed payback for Knight Riders. <laughs> okay, no, but now, okay, but now what do you think, hey, John? But now, hey. you, where are you now? I don't know what this pick could be except a delayed payback for Knight Riders. No, oh, <laughs> no I don't know. You, no, I like you, it a little John. better now. I get, I get what you guys are saying. I just, I uh, would it, not suffer through this again. It, on it how is broken. We are. I mean, wow. It's an exercise in misery. Wow. I, yeah, I, I didn't. I, I didn't hate this movie because I, I like dark shit as well. I just think that it. I don't really like Fonda as an actress, or at least I didn't really appreciate her character here. You I liked all the other actors. I think um, she's fantastic. In I think it I think could have been absolutely fantastic. I actually don't like the look of this movie a lot. I mean, it's okay. I think it could have looked better, been shot a little better. And I do think it was a little boring and sagged, but the rest, you know, a lot of it I liked. They made a you know, lot. Jared, you know what I, I would have picked as my screenshot if I'd had time is Michael Sarazen trying to get that sunbeam on his face. Yeah, or that to me was like a transcendent was, moment from the so whole. So you know what that is, right? It was Malik. that's that's tantalus. That's tantalus with the grapes, right? Like right. he can never actually get the grapes in his mouth. Like yeah. he's yeah. trying to get his face into that sunbeam, and like, every step, time he almost back. gets his face into the sun sunbeam, it goes up a little bit further. Yeah. And yeah. it goes up a little bit further. Yeah. Like he's not allowed. You're not allowed to have joy in this world. It like, was kind of it was kind of beautiful and horrible in, in its simplicity. Yeah. The only time that sex is brought up in this at all, it's the worst thing anyone's ever done. Yeah, so, like okay, hold on. It's still behind Chris. Look how look at Jane Fonda looks like absolute shit. <laughs> she does. <laughs> but she is. Girl, man, she's a zombie at this point. Con contrary to what I said about her performance, I think she's absolutely beautiful. And I even think uh, when she's, she's ugly, she's beautiful. <laughs> she's, quite, she's quite cute. You know, why do you think she wanted to kill herself at the end? If you didn't know that she was a suicidal before, why do you think she wanted to kill herself at the end? 
because yeah, she just lived through all of this. Yeah, you but now she's about, she just oh, walked away. Imagine doing this every day for seven weeks. I know, right? But that's a that's a pretty extreme way of dealing with it. It's just see, they they quit the contest at this point. She I wouldn't have made it past one. Well, she's obviously had problems before. Yeah, yeah, but and I no, wish they would have gone into that because I think it would have made her character more. Yeah. relatable the, con- and, the conversation and, at the end was like you could tell how incredibly t- weary and unhappy she and that was. was one of the best again scenes in the movie yeah, that, that the, was the, 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 the writing there was quite good and it, the performances it, it, it were didn't good take a lot it didn't take a lot of lines for you to realize that this was the last straw for her that was like, yeah well the whole thing I, was- I love i love the part where they're loading him into the the paddy wagon and it's like he's like why did you do it it's like because she yeah, asked me too. to yeah and he goes well aren't line. you an accommodating fella and yeah, then just like puts like, honestly, him in the yeah. also her scene where, where the, they're looking for where the they spot. cut it huh. is so if they'd let it linger a little longer, it would have been too on the nose, but they cut it at exactly the right spot. Yes, yes. The slamming door. Well, oh yeah. Earlier though, when she was like looking for a stocking and he and he found it and it was it had a run in the laddering in the thing. That's it. And she just totally That's it. it. That was That's, the moment. That was the moment. I'm out. That was done. the moment. Okay, I'm out. Done. Yeah. So like, why yeah. did he shoot her? She asked again, him because he was like she a bomb, he doesn't to, have no, anything. He begged him. him. Yeah. Not just, just asked also, him. Begged him, him. And, and, exa- he's, and and he gives her multiple opportunities to say no. Yeah, like I'm he's ready. like, tell me when, and she's like, anytime, and he's like, now? okay, now. Right. Yeah, he gives her multiple, but I still, I mean, it's still a valid question. Also, but, what was you know going what, on I, with him? What, you know what? They're both ex- they're both exhausted. Mother. These guys are both exhausted. They they see part of that. part of me was like when he's getting in the paddy wagon, as he sits down, maybe he's thinking to himself, I get three squares a day now. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Maybe. <laughs> I don't, he's I don't know that he's no. that bright to begin with. No, actually, he's, but he's out too. Like, no, he's... this is this is California in the 1930s. They're going to put him to San Quentin and hang him in like a less than a year. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. that works. <laughs> no, they're not because he's going to say yes, that she asked right. me to, and they're going to give him. Although I don't know if they had um uh, 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 insanity pleas back in the 30s, but this definitely qualifies. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was out of my mind when she asked me to pull the trigger. I was like, and they say, I was in a dance marathon for 140 hours. Like that would probably hold up a court. That would hold up a thousand, a thousand hours. hours. Like, hours 1100 hours. 1100 hours. Yeah. Yeah. So right. They're like, they're like, like, okay, good point. Uh, Jim, you got a corner? Uh, not really. It's just a very good movie. I enjoyed it immensely. I was amazed at what I'd forgotten. I, I, as a kid watching it or a young adult, I guess, uh, I had totally blanked out all the stuff with the spectators. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, so I'd even forgotten that there were spectators in it, right. which is like a very important part of the movie now. Although I do feel like sometimes that kind of like drifts away. Like mm-hmm. but in, in a lot of the movie, anything beyond a couple feet past them is just completely out of focus. And like a blur. Just, also, right. sometimes there's like 15 people and sometimes there's like, Three hundred. Well, it's like you yeah, can't tell going, but as it keeps going, more and more, more and more people are showing up. Right? Yeah. I, I like the people Fuck who that. are obviously there, like during the downtime. Also, yeah. the, this this film is shot in widescreen. There's a lot of a very shallow focus. You can't even see yeah. it most of the time. Yeah, just, yeah. They're just dots. You know, it's yeah, like the most debate yeah, when they're throwing the coins, dude. That's just oh. that's messed up. All right. I didn't, even, I didn't even go to the cards at this point. I mean, fuck. dude, I'll, I'll give it like what this. a wonderful surprise. I know it's a oh, terrible thing to say about a film like this, but man, come on. I, 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 I like the story. I just think it could have been better. You dug one up that really surprised me. So well I, done, man. 